Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for stopping by Mark's RC. Welcome back to the channel. All right, so uh, TF2 on the move. And, uh, yeah, probably let the truck do a little more talking than me on this one, I think. So I'll pop in here in a bit. kind of showcases what these things are really capable of doing. This is where the Terraflex shackles and the Z-Box shine right here. Fong here. No problem. foams in these so I took the stock foams and I pretty much cut about a half to two-thirds away and that really allows for just an incredible amount of compression which I I'm pretty convinced this truck wouldn't really run nearly as well if I hadn't done that and then there's enough sealed air pressure inside the beadlock that it maintains for just like normal ride pressure and so on and so forth and the foam is really there just for keeping it from totally bottoming out. Yeah, Terraflex. This is the first video that I've really had a chance to get out and run this thing um, after I've done this suspension work with it. another really good climb too. This kind of shows like a combination of everything all working together. The tires, the way they're set up, the way the, the 
shackles and the Z-boxes all work together and the way the stability of the front end. I wouldn't want a whole ton of front end roll right there. listening to this on headphones when I do the voiceovers and stuff. And I don't know if you guys watch these with headphones on, but you can hear cool stuff like the rocks move around and the way the motor sounds. It's it's kind of intense sometimes and you hear all the gearing in this thing. It's kind of it's kind of crazy. So This is a hill climb. The C44 did this. Uh, it's in a previous video. I haven't really done it with anything else. But it breaks loose here for a second, but you'll see what happens. But it's also just, again, it's one of those things that shows, you know, what the TF2 is capable of. Hobby's call master sport can get unruly if you want it to, but it just slows it right back down whenever you need it to just to get back at work, you know? how off axis this was, the consequences on both sides, how narrow it was at the top. Just thought it was a really good challenge. And the thing I've learned about this truck is that it really will do whatever you want it to do because of how I have it set up and the amount of articulation that it's got. It's probably got close to, it's got to have almost four inches from corner to corner. And so if you know what it can and can't do, the thing is just kind of mind-blowing how, how it just kind of does it all. I'm, I'm always really happy about these. You know, I know a lot of people don't really like the TF2, but then there's a lot of people that swear by them. I'm one of them. for watching folks please hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already and uh this is only the start of it i got a bunch of footage from last night so stay tuned and uh we'll see you on the next one